guys uh just thought i would share this short little video of me running the free to download black myth wukong benchmark tool um just to see how well it runs because apparently the developers wanted to make sure that uh, people could test it to find out how many people are up have like the technology to run the game maybe so that they can optimize it for older you know um machines uh less powerful machines and i decided to run the tool for it which is in the background right now is my running i think i, I did two tests um just to see how well it would work and uh i'm just gonna let this play here as i move aside so you guys can see it's gonna take a little while to get started so um my machine was built in 2019 so it's five years old uh it's got an amd ryzen 7 1700 eight core processor uh three gigahertz and 16 gigabytes of ram um i think i have like a decent video card nvidia uh card that is so you know it's been able to run games like um cyberpunk 2077 with like mixed results uh i've been able to run baldur's gate 3 okay i haven't really run into major problems except for maybe some uh some slowdown and and frame frame loss you know um you can see above me the frame rate of the uh tool it sort of tracks it while it does this like run through this environment um so you can see how well it runs on your system <clears throat> I can run some newer things, but I think it's getting to the point now where I need a new machine. You can see it like freeze up right there, for example, um, and it drops pretty a lot. But then when I do it again, it seems better. So I don't know. I, I think my machine is, um, you know, probably in need of an upgrade. Or maybe there's a way for me to like, you know, move like some of the options around so that I can run it. But the reason why I wanted to show this video is because a lot of the negative reviews coming from mainstream games journalism are claiming that the game is a buggy a mess that doesn't run on anything and i think one of the devs actually ran it on like a handheld device they didn't even run it on a pc um but then like some of the independent reviewers have been saying that it runs really well and that they don't even have like a newer machine so you know take i guess what is being said with a, a massive grain of salt, especially from the mainstream, and maybe try running it yourself. I'm still on the fence about buying the game because I have uh, problems with the uh, Chinese government. <laughs> but if this team has nothing to do with them, then I'm not gonna, you know, let that affect my decision uh, because I like the some of the stuff that they've said. I like the, you know, some of the discussion uh, around this where they're essentially not allowing people to use um ideological slander to you know take sales away from the game i know they've worked on this for a long time i think that the um subject matter is extremely interesting i've always loved sun wukong um as a character and i think that i'm, I'm excited for it in a way i'm just on the fence about buying it and i'm not sure how it'll run on my system so uh, I'm going to shut up now and I'm going to let the rest of this play out. And if you want to check out the benchmarking tool, it is a free download on Steam. Just go to the um, Black Myth Wukong uh, page on Steam and download the benchmarking tool. And uh, yeah, I'm going to do another run through of this and I'll, I will uh, see you on the other side. So let us know what you let me know rather what you think about this benchmarking tool and also like how how bad is my machine? How much does it suck? Uh, how badly do I need a replacement? Do you have any suggestions on on things I can do? So the first run through uh, was with nothing. Well, I actually had stuff running in the background. Obviously, I was using OBS to record and I was listening to a video. So my machine was doing a little bit more than just running the benchmark tool. So anyway, um, I'm going to be quiet for the rest of the video. Let me know what you guys think, and I'll uh, 
See you in the next one. Long live Vivian.